Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is a radically different way to break your routine and master language along the way. Does language learning feel like work for you? Do you wish it was a bit more fun and engaging? Well, first you should know that it's okay to feel that way and that it's okay to want to have fun while learning. That's why in today's episode, you'll discover what to do when language learning starts feeling like work, how to change up your routine and make learning fun. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. And second, if you love travel, then you'll love this. This quick lesson gives you the top 30 travel phrases that you'll need to know. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. And here are this month's updates for our language learning system. First, a brand new plans and pricing page where you can see the breakdowns of our plan, all the learning tools that come with each plan and the pricing so that you can choose the one that fits you best. And second, a subscription countdown timer so you know when your plan runs out. Just click the link in the description to check out the new pricing page. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. A radically different way to break your routine and master language along the way. Part one, the importance of taking a break. So does language learning feel like work at times? If you find yourself getting tired of your books, your apps, and your current routine, you should know that it's normal to feel that. So what should you do in this case? There's a reason many cultures rest for one or two days a week, why people go on vacation, and why we take days off. And that's because people need time to recharge their batteries. And let's be honest, learning a language is work. It's dedication to one of many goals in our lives. We have other things going on, school, work, bills, relationships. So first and foremost, because language learning is work, you need to rest. And if you've taken a day, a week, or even a month off, don't feel too bad. And leave us a comment and let us know if you've ever taken a break from language learning and why. Now, sure, you could say you don't need breaks, keep on going, but sometimes life gets in the way. You get busy or you just need rest. And it's better to take a break and reach your language goal eventually than burn out, quit, and never reach it at all. Even inside our own learning system, we often see learners come back and pick up where they left off after taking a break. But what if you want to change up your routine and learn with something that's fun instead, so it doesn't feel like all work? That's an option too. There are two ways you can go about this. One, you stay within that skill, but change your resource. So if you like reading and want to keep focusing on reading, then put the textbook down and try a novel. Try a comic book. Or two, you can completely change it up. If you're focusing on grammar, jump over to speaking or passively listening to audio lessons. If you're learning Japanese, watch a drama or anime. If you're learning Korean, try K-pop or K-dramas, things like that. The big takeaway here is you break away from your routine, what you're used to and what feels like work, and relax with something more enjoyable. So if you don't want to take time off and if you want to keep on progressing one way or another, you can always break your routine and try something that's more fun. But now some of you may be wondering, if you're just doing what's fun, can you really learn a language, as in watch TV and actually learn something? Well, let's get into the second part first. Part two how to make language progress while having fun. Yes, you can learn, but first you have to ask yourself two things. First, what's your goal or the reason for really learning? And second, what brings you the most amount of pleasure? And then work backward from there. Whatever your goal is, start applying some of your time to that goal right away. If your goal is to speak with a significant other, try it today, speak. 
If your goal is to watch TV, watch it, even if you don't understand all of it. If you like books, read a book. Now, you may think that if you're a beginner, you'll still struggle reading through native text or struggle to understand every word in a TV show, which doesn't sound too fun. But everybody has things that they find fun that other people don't. And all methods require work on your end to make them work, even the fun ones. You're still going to need to look up words, write down phrases, and rewatch episodes if you're watching a show. You're still going to need to define words if you're reading a book. But the point is, if you enjoy one approach more so over others, you'll be much more likely to stick with it. You'll make progress as long as you put the time and work in. And you'll get to actually enjoy the learning process, which is important because learning a language is work. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the question, can busy people actually learn a language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.